I hear that. Speaking of Hall of Fame, Eric Bischoff to the Hall of Fame. Hey, papa. Sir. I don't know how I feel about this. He's back. I don't know how I feel about it. Why? Because, sure, <laughs> the man gets his credit for one thing. But what about all the other failures? Like, are we still not going to acknowledge because of that one thing? We're not going to acknowledge all the failures? Nah, I sure. think I think he's I think he played a role, but, but I I think he played an integral role that people don't realize a lot about. Talk, Talk about it. it. So 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 you're saying you know he brought the NWO in, and that's very true, right? He was also the guy that brought Hogan, who was leaving the WWE to WCW, so that Hogan was still a part of the uh, the wrestling lexicon, right? Mm-hmm. If it wasn't for him. A guy like uh, Ray Mysterio would still be nobody, right? The only reason Ray, the only reason Ray's around right now, is because he was able to book him from ECW to WCW, and that he got so big there that Vince, who hates people that small, had to bring him in. Okay. Okay. So he brought exposure to the cruiserweight uh, division, right? Yeah, yeah, I guess you can say that. That style, so that style right? So what and else has he done? To that style, and that style has influenced the in-ring product of today, right? How about, how about, just very honestly, like eighty-three weeks? Yeah, <laughs> he did eighty-three weeks, and he honestly, that's enough. He did, yo. He went to TNA, which was a sinking ship. Right, and then he detailed everything he did to to do something about it, you know. And so, like, just recently, he talked about um, the Sting Jeff Hardy match, right? And like, if you remember, he's the one that was like, "All right, like, we gotta fucking calm this shit down and whatever." <laughs> he's trying to like, "Yo, Jeff Hardy's not that fucked up," um, because he was like, "Yo, nobody else did anything." So, like, he was obviously in a place... I mean, Dixie Carter's failures have been well-documented, of course, right? But I wouldn't call that an Eric Bischoff failure, and I think he gets shit on for that a lot. Bringing in Hogan for, you know, whatever. But at the time, like, yo, that's a name, right? He tried to create a moment. Yeah. You know, the person, (laughs) you know, was who he was. But at that time, like, yo, he was God. Right and and and, and if, as much as you guys are defending his claim to the Hall of Fame, y'all failed to mention the fact that he brought over Medusa, the fact that he brought over Scott Hall and Look Kevin Nash, right? Who the fuck are so, those? So, sure, <laughs> it's just why now? What, what happened? What, what, am I missing something? Where did this come from? Because there's still people that deserve to be in the Hall of Fame that have not been brought in. Who you play? Who you play? And ahead? also, and also in a year where the Hall of Fame was kind of shot to shit, right? Because of COVID. Yo, what if it's gonna be huge? Yeah, yeah the COVID so, spreading is gonna be huge. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna spread everywhere. It's not. It's not live, so I think it's just gonna be like wrestlers. I don't think even fans are going to that shit. Really? Not. I don't think yeah. so. I know it's not live. I, Bro, I don't if the know. Grammys are not live, if the Oscars are not live, why the fuck is the Hall of Fame gonna be live? Like, there's no need. <laughs> WrestleMania is going to be... <laughs> uh, See, that's the problem. It's because Vince got that governor for Florida in his pack pocket. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm, and he's yeah. going to close on everything. Andrew Yang, where are My you? My friends in Florida. 